In this video, we're going to analyze a randomized algorithm for finding the median of an array of n elements. So let's look at the problem of finding the median, where we assume that the array is not sorted. Perhaps the conceptually easiest way of finding the median would be to sort the array, and then return the element at approximately the n divided by 2 uh, index value of the sorted array. The problem with this approach is that the sort operation is an n log n operation, and we are doing too much computation if all we truly need is the median of the array. So we're going to look at a randomized algorithm that can find the median in linear time and has a high probability of successfully finding the median. Because the algorithm is randomized, we cannot guarantee that it will successfully find the median. In order to analyze the randomized algorithm, we're going to need two results from basic probability theory. The first result is the concept of the binomial random variable. So if we flip a coin n times, and the probability of getting a head in a coin flip is p, the binomial probability distribution tells us the probability of getting exactly k heads in the experiment. The binomial random variable is a random variable that is distributed according to the binomial probability distribution, and therefore the binomial random variable can be thought of as counting the number of heads in a coin flipping experiment. The expected value of a binomial random variable can be shown to be n times p, and the variance of a binomial random variable can be shown to be n times p times 1 minus p. The second result we need from probability theory is known as Chebyshev's inequality, which tells us that the probability that a random variable deviates from its expectation uh, by an amount greater then c is less than or equal to the variance of the random variable divided by c squared. Or in other words, uh, large deviations have a relatively low probability. In analyzing our randomized algorithm, we will find that the probability of failure is equivalent to the probability that a particular binomial random variable generated by the algorithm takes on values less than a certain amount we will be able to translate that probability into uh, a deviation from the expectation of the binomial random variable, and we'll be able to directly use Chebyshev's inequality. Let's look at the algorithm itself. So the idea is we want to avoid, uh, given an input array A, we want to avoid sorting the entire array in order to find the median. So the idea of the algorithm is that we find, with high probability, two elements in A, which we'll call E1 and E2, such that E1 is less than the median of A, and E2 is greater than the median of A, and we will form a new subarray of A called C, composed of all elements that are greater than E1 and less than E2. Notably, C will contain the median of A. Once we have C, we can sort C, and we hope that C is small enough such that it can be sorted in time linear uh, compared to the size of A. Uh, linear or sublinear. If that is indeed the case, then the median of A will be located in C at index value n divided by 2 minus the A rank of E1. So if we can find an E1 and an E2 that satisfy the criteria that E1 is less than the median of A, E2 is greater than the median of A, and the rank difference between E1 and E2 is small enough such that C can be sorted in linear time, then we have an algorithm for finding the median of A. So how do we find E1 and E2? We find E1 and E2 by sampling from A to form a new set we'll call B. We also sort B, and then we declare E1 to be the element in B whose B rank is one half the size of B minus the square root of n. E2 is the element in B whose B rank is one half the size of B plus the square root of n. We claim with high probability that finding E1 and E2 in this manner satisfies all the necessary criteria for the algorithm to successfully find the median. Since the algorithm presented runs in time linear and n, if all the criteria are indeed satisfied, then we have an algorithm that returns the median of A in linear time. So let's analyze the probability that the algorithm fails. The algorithm fails when any of the criteria are violated. So if E1 ends up to the right, or greater than the median of A, uh, then C will not contain the median and the algorithm will fail. Uh, symmetrically, if E2 is less than the median of A, the algorithm will fail. 
And finally, if the uh, A ranks of E1 and E2 are far apart enough, then C will not be able to be sorted in linear time uh, relative to N. So we're going to analyze the first mode of failure, the probability of the first mode of failure, and we will leave unproven the claim that the other modes of failure can be analyzed in a very similar fashion. So what is the probability that E1 ends up greater than the meaning of A when we find E1 by forming the set B and declaring E1 to be the element in B at the 1 half n 3 quarters minus square root n rank in B? Let's say that the B rank of E1, which by the way is determined only by n, let's say that the B rank of E1 ends up being 10. If the B rank of E1 is 10, that means there are 9 elements in B whose value is less than E1. And if E1 is on the left side of A, then at least 10 elements in B must have come from the left-hand side of A. The determining event in whether or not E1 is to the left side of A, then, is the number of elements in B that were sampled from the left-hand side of A. This quantity is a binomial random variable, because every sample from A is independent, and the probability is constant since we are sampling from A with replacement. Thus, we have failure when the quantity of our binomial random variable is less than the B rank of E1, and the B rank of E1 is equal to 1 half n 3 quarters minus square root n. So what is the probability that our binomial random variable is less than the desired amount? In order to invoke Chebyshev's inequality, we need to translate inequality we are interested in uh, into the language of a deviation from the expectation of the binomial random variable. So we can easily calculate the expectation of a binomial random variable since we know the number of trials uh, which is the size of B, and we know the probability of success, which is the probability that a randomly sampled element in A came from the left-hand side, which is approximately one half. Uh, we, so we can algebraically subtract the expectation from quantity to figure out the size of the deviation that we're interested in, and it turns out that the size of that deviation is a little bit more than the square root of N. And since we know the variance of our binomial random variable, we can directly plug into Chebyshev's inequality and find that the probability of failure the probability that the number of elements in B that came from the left-hand side of A is less than the B rank of E1 is on the order, the probability of that event is on the order of one quarter n to the negative one quarter power. Thus, our probability of failure in this case is a decreasing function of n, the size of the input array. The other modes of failure are similar, and thus we have a linear time algorithm for finding the median of an array that succeeds with high probability.